My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Mr. is a twisted copy of me, powerful and dangerous, but I know I can fight him. I don't think anybody else can. They don't understand what he is, what he represents, or that all the horrible things he does here are almost insignificant compared to what he will unleash on Earth given the chance. But I've survived the dark place, and it has taught me things. How to cope, how to stay sane when the world goes crazy. He's two steps ahead of me, but I can find him. And I believe I can stop him. To change reality, you nudge it into the right direction. Your version of it is there, waiting. It wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. The devil is in the details. You change the details of the scene to match those on the page. If you get the details right, if you achieve that critical mass, the shift will come, and the rest of your new reality overrides the existing paradigm. The lie, no matter how outrageous, is now the truth. My own face peered back at me from the TV screen. For a moment, I struggled with the sensation of deja vu. How many times have I seen myself like this now? And then there was that easy grin that never seemed quite as quick or natural on my own lips the dark, malicious twinkle in the eyes, and I knew who I was looking at. As he pulled back and revealed the room behind him, my throat went dry. There was nothing I could do but watch. At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. I'm trapped in the darkness. He has started appearing to me. Mr. Sk he can travel back into the world effortlessly, and he loves to rub my face in it. At first, he was just an echo in the darkness, a flicker beyond the edge of my vision. Now he started showing himself, getting bolder all the time, telling me what a great time he's having in the world while I'm stuck here, and what he plans to do, especially to Alice. All the moves I have left are dangerous and desperate. I have no choice. I have to hunt him. I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I've prepared for this. But I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me. And not just physically. It may affect my mind, my memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do even if the details elude me. Alice and Barry, my wife and my best friend, are easily the two most important people in my life, and they've never really gotten along with each other. I suppose both of them resent the other's intrusions into what they consider their domain. After I was gone, they maintained an uneasy truce, my book stayed in print, still selling. The licensing machine churned away. She was my wife and controlled the intellectual property. He was my agent and took care of the business. I wish they found more common ground than that. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was Any Place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the herald of darkness. It was something I'd written back in the real world, something I had a link to, a framework I could build on. 
I had adapted it into a new story. This story. In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack by birds that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. With all the herbs, crystals, and the rest of her New Age paraphernalia, Emma Sloan had been called a hippie and a freak and worse. It was that small town mentality. She was a female mechanic, and even in 2011, there were always going to be backward shit kickers who thought that was a hoot. She didn't mind. She could deal. She could take any engine apart, even the new ones with all the computers in them. Turned out that these boys were awful polite while waiting for her to put them back together. <laughs>